This is the new crane thriller from Juin. Hi, I'm Johnny from Cinema 5D and I'm here with Anna Lina from... China. From China, but company? Uh, Juin. I always uh, have a bit of a hard time to pronounce the name of the company. So it's Juin? Juin, yes, you call it correctly. Hey, it's, yeah. It was good this time. Yes. Okay, and you have a new product, which is actually the Crane 3 Lab. Yeah. What is the difference between the Crane 3 Lab and the Crane 2 Lab? Okay, there's no Quen 2 Lab, there's Quen 2, and now here's the Quen 3 Lab. And the Quen 3 Lab is designed in a whole new structure. And um, so later I'll show you that with the handle here and the tripod down there, how we can hold it and in different uh, circumstances, how it is used for filmmakers to like uh, film their daily job more easily and um, create more creative uh, films. Okay, so I mean there are a lot, a lot of uh, gimbal, gimbals in the market. What is the kind of unique sell point of that gimbal? Uh, the unique sell point is saying it's a new concept of structure. It's a whole, totally holding a different way. Like traditionally, you hold the gimbals like in this upright mode, but this time we we designed it differently because like according to what we know that filmmakers they actually use this sling mode as uh, the sling mode I will show you later and uh, in the mostly 80% of their work work time they are doing that filming in that gesture okay, so that's for the low mode um, yeah. of filming and they can lift it up and also doing this panning really um, smoothly with this structure, so uh, there were no, uh, they will release its pressure all when while they are holding that. For because uh, right now, if you are using the Quen Chu or uh, any other brands a stabilizer, you will need to like hold, turn it around and make it down up there like like that. But that will like cause some difficulties in that. Okay, how about the payload of this device? Uh, it will be like about 4.5 kilogram or maybe more. I'm just not sure because it's not the final version confirmed. When are you planning to show the final version? It's like early November, I'm, I think. I think it's like that. In, uh, early November, we're going to launch the new product officially. Officially. And do you know any idea about the pricing of this product? Um, uh, somehow more than the Quen 2. But I don't know about the price. <laughs> okay. How about uh, the battery life or any type of control uh, yes. with, with, uh, with this? Let's start with the battery life. Okay, uh, so talking about this new product, we, I talk about the standard. For the Quen 2, we have 18 hours runtime. So we guarantee that a new product will have no less than that. Okay. Okay, and how about controlling the camera? Can you control the camera only from the... Um, 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 gimbal itself or will you have also some type of app to control the gimbal? Yes, we have a dedicated app for this uh, Quen 3 lab and this time we have designed a new whole new system for this app so there will be monitor on your uh, I mean image monitor on your phone or pad uh, with this app and also you can do the G mode in which means you can do motion control uh, through the uh, movements of your phone or app to control the gimbal movement. Or you can also use the like um, the points there, up there, the joystick on your app, the mimic joystick on your app to control the gimbal gesture. And This is already working or this is still on development stage? Under development because uh, there are more features like time lapse or uh, other smart features under development, and and so I just want to talk about the app. So inside that you can uh, not just uh, do the uh, image transmission, you can do the framing composition, and also adjust the camera exposure values, uh, different settings on on all in the app. Yeah, but which cameras you will control actually? Um, Via the app, yeah, I guess okay. it's... Uh, so that is, uh, for now, successfully, what I 
uh, have uh, known that the company has tested tested with all the features done as the GH4 or GH5 and then the A7, uh, the Alpha 7 from Sony. Your product also has for the first time uh, two more new functions. What are those? Okay, uh, the first is the HDMI uh, connection to your camera and then uh, we have the high resolution image transmission from the gimbal to your phone. Okay, so it will be from the camera, HDMI to the actual gimbal and then uh, via the smartphone to control or to see what we actually see. Yes, that's right. Uh, the other thing, there's a USB-C connector here and this is for what? Uh, that is for the camera con ca controls. Uh, the, you can control the um, parameters like ISO, white balance, um, through your gimbal or your app uh, on to, to your camera. Okay, and then you have additional two more uh, USB-C type connectors, and those are for? Uh, these are for the ch dual channel focus controller. Uh, this focus controller can uh, do the focus pulling as well as the zooming. So there will be two channels for the uh, camera. Okay. Yeah. Good. Thank you very much. Uh, it will be interesting to see how it functions in the field and how is the reaction of filmmakers. But thank you very much for the explanation. And thank you very much for watching. And please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.